Thanks for coming out. This is a really, really, really fun sport. So I have a red one. Teams are going to be split up depending on the numbers, either five, four and four, five on five, six on six, but we'll have teams of red and teams of yellow. This is Nebraska kayak polo. Woo, woo, woo. And we are playing kayak polo. That works. To start the game, each team lines up uh, by their own inner tube that they'll be defending. Okay, you ready? And then someone will throw the ball into the middle of the uh, into the middle of the playing field. Game on! And then everybody rushes towards the uh, towards the ball and, and uh, tries to get possession of it. It's a cross between kind of a water polo, hockey, soccer, um, in whitewater kayaks. Down, Hannah, down. We just want people to play play hard and have a good time without a ton of rules. Use a lot of upper body strength, a lot of rowing, a lot of hips action. People don't think that, but you see yourself down on one end like a soccer game and then all of a sudden the ball gets thrown on the other end. And there's not grass to run through, it's wind and water you got to paddle through, so. Right there. Okay, possession of the ball. When you get the ball, you can only hold it for five seconds. Over here! After a while, I think we realized there were some strategies to it. You know, you really had to use your teammates because there's there's no glory in it. One person can't run it all the way downfield. And two defensive men, one in the middle, and two forwards on the outside. It's a pretty rough game. I mean, people tackle each other, and that's definitely part of the fun. Tackling consists of ramming you. You can dunk them, you can tip them, you can ram your boat, but you can't run it across their legs. It's it's different because you know you have to like keep the momentum going, and then at the same time you balance and then work with the ball. So that's how I cut myself falling about two or three times. It's awesome. It's the biggest rush that you'll find in a while. You don't have to have any experience. There was people out here that had never even been on a kayak before, never canoed, and they pick it up within the first 10 minutes. So it's it's not something that you know you have to be a pro or have to have kayak for years to do. It's it's pretty easy to pick up. Scoring is uh, putting the ball inside the inner tube, inside the ring of the opposing team's goal. It's a pretty intense sport, so you got to have a sense of adventure to 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 get out there and play. But I think everyone that, that, that goes into it does have that sense of adventure and they, they have a good time.